Hey, I'm Matthew James Wilson. I'm the editor-in-chief of Forge Art Magazine. So Forge is a quarterly art magazine. I started it with a couple of friends in high school and have been doing it for the past five years now. Um, an issue comes out every three months and it's dedicated to one theme. It includes submissions by artists, interviews with artists, and overall documentation of the DIY scene that I operate within New York, Toronto, and Los Angeles. And the name actually comes from the definition of forge. Uh, forging something is sort of this process of creation that involves lots and lots of energy and lots of time and force behind making something. And we started it since we were just kids and we had never done a project like that. We really wanted to choose a name that sort of reflected how much energy we were putting into it or how much care that we wanted to use in making something that was all about creation and all about making art. So with each issue, I uh, will sort of put out a call for submission and reach out to a bunch of artists that I'm really excited about the work that they're doing and we'll pull together a bunch of submissions based on a specific theme that I'll determine at the end of the process of the previous issues. With something like the internet, there is no reason why there should be a word count or there's no reason why there should be a page count when space is infinite. And I think that with advertising, people feel this pressure to uh, condense things in a way where people can take it in or feel good after like five paragraphs. And I don't think that things are that simple or there's a lot of people who have perspectives that are way more complicated than that and their artistic integrity doesn't really retain itself within something that's a five minute interview. I think that for any young people who are looking for a place to go and are like leaning towards moving to New York, I would say to just work hard at doing stuff uh, and don't be afraid to throw stuff away and don't be afraid to put something out and not look back at it for a really long time and just constantly be figuring out what it is that you want to be saying. I feel like the eclipse was a little bit underwhelming because it's sort of interesting to see this giant group of people sort of pay attention to something that happens in the world while the rest of the world is operating around them constantly. So the beauty of nature, or the beauty of change, or the beauty of patterns in the world are sort of constantly happening, whereas the eclipse is something that, uh, I think I saw like a Corona ad that was like selling the eclipse along with beer and is sort of something that uh, gets people to think about the earth for like the three minute period that it's like really like aesthetically pleasing to them. And I think that if we took the attitude we had towards the eclipse on a daily basis to the earth, then maybe we would appreciate it a lot more.